Hey everybody, welcome back to Brendan's Ballistics. I'm your host, Brendan Barker, and today we got the giveaway. So, just a quick rundown on how it works. If you already know, skip uh, skip ahead to this time step. Stamp. Yeah. So, the way the giveaway works is I have two different giveaways. Talk about the first giveaway. The first one's a free giveaway. That means anybody can enter for absolutely free. I cover shipping. The only thing I ever ask for is your name and shipping address. I never ask for... Uh, any kind of money in advance. Uh, I don't ask you to cover shipping. I don't ask for anything like that. So if anybody ever claims to be me, asking you for any other details about your name and shipping address, it is not me. So, with that said, to be able to be eligible for the giveaway, I leave a code word in each and every one of my videos. I'll say something like, today's code word is, and I'll say what it is. Like, today's code word is going to be Hunter. And the obvious reason will be obvious whenever we get to that item, <laughs> or to those to those items. So that's one code word. This giveaway, I'm asking for five. Five code words. So you only need four more. So go to previous videos. Make sure that your uh, the videos that you get the code words from are uploaded in the month of September. I do not accept old code words. If you accidentally you know did uh, four this month and one previous, well you didn't follow the rules and you're not eligible. So make sure you use code words that are actually for the month of September. So uh, you look at the video, say, you know, make sure it says, uh, you know, date uploaded, September, or whatever. And then you use that code word just fine. So I'm asking for five. What you're going to do with those code words is you're going to leave them in the comments of this video. Now I'm going to put the comments on uh, on hold to where, I, to where I have to approve them. And, and the reason why is I don't want somebody to just copy and paste. You know, somebody does all the work and everybody just jumps in behind them. So, uh, I forgot to do that last month, and, you know, more people entered. <laughs> but this month, I'm going to try to remember to uh, hold the comments to where people can't do that. And uh, so, you're going to go to the comments. You're going to put that on those five code words. You're not going to see your comment show up, but don't worry. As long as you did it, uh, you know, it, it'll be submitted to me, and I'll prove it once the live stream goes on. That gets you entered. That's all you got to do to be entered. Simple as that. Uh, the way you win is this following Sunday... So you have from the day, uh, it's Monday, until uh, Sunday, you have six days to be able to get all those code words in the comments. And then on Sunday, 6 p.m., I always say Eastern Standard Time, but technically we're not. Uh, I think Eastern Standard Time is what we are in, when we're Daylight Savings Time. Uh, West Virginia Time, I'll just say that. <laughs> Somebody called me, uh, Brian called me out on that, and then I, fa I found out, yeah, I, I've been wrong my entire life. I've you know, I just always thought it was Easter Standard Time, but uh, that's only when it's daylight savings time, or when it's not. I don't know. It's, it's confusing. Right? Whatever it is, it's whenever the time is in West Virginia. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I'm a redneck. Okay, I'm simple. Leave me alone. Now, uh, oh yeah, so on that Sunday, uh, then uh, do a live stream at 6 p.m. So, whatever time. Uh, and then we use a, a random number generator to be able to pick the winner. So I go in there, I you know, write down all the, all the people's names who's entered. Um, I then assign them a number through one through how many other people entered. So if there's six people entered, so we have one through six. It's ten people, one through ten, whatever. And then there's a random number wheel that you see on screen. So I don't know the winner before you do. Uh, you see it pop up as soon as I see it pop up. And that's who wins. Now, I do a members-only giveaway. The regular giveaway has a value between $80 to $120. That's the free one that anybody can enter. You don't have to be, you know, support the channel. The way you support the channel with that is like, comment, sharing, subscribing, watching the content, watching the ads, stuff like that. That is, uh, you know, it's my way of saying thank you for uh, coming by, watching the videos, and helping this little, uh, you know, dream of mine grow. Because uh, when I started this, I didn't think it would ever grow to be, you know, almost 3,500 subscribers. Uh, that's already way past what I thought it would ever be. So, as my way of saying thank you, uh, I do these giveaways every month. Now, for members, people who actually pay the twenty-five dollars a month uh, to be able to help support the channel, help me pay for guns, uh, ammo, uh, survive, uh, items that, uh, that I do, you know, the different boxes, uh, uh, the monthly subscription boxes I do, and that also helps me get the items for the giveaways. I do a increased value giveaway for them and it's only for members this month there's only one item in that giveaway but it's like 170 or 190 dollars worth of one item so we'll get to that item last because <laughs> that's going to be a quick one but yeah uh if you're a knife fan 
you might want to become a member this month. Twenty-five dollars to be able to win a knife that's worth like one hundred and seventy, one hundred ninety. I'm just saying. Uh, but let's get into the free giveaway. So now the five-minute mark. You came back. Now let's look at the items. My goal is to get you ready for hunting season this year. So with that in mind, I picked out a bunch of items uh, that I got in previous boxes. Uh, not just for this month, but also previous boxes throughout the year to be able to help you with your hunting. So first and foremost, you need to have some scent away soap. So this is bar soap from scent away. Be able to keep uh, the scent off. That's where you don't give away your position. When you get out there, you're going to be sweating. Uh, sweating, you know, all that sweat creates pheromones and stuff like that. Well, here's some scent away towelettes. Now, of course, you don't have to have it just for, uh, you know, hunting. You can use it for whatever, but yeah. Uh, so, number two body, number one, fielding terrain. Uh, here's a thing from Hunter Specialty, uh, 10 pairs of night trial gloves. This is really good whenever you're uh, field dressing your deer, and you don't want your hands to be absolutely covered in blood. Uh, I know some people, don't, some people don't care, some people do. You know, if, if you're one of the people who do, there you go. Uh, same thing for when you're cleaning firearms or uh, your bow or, you know, whatever you hunt with. You know, you can use nitro gloves to be able to keep your hands protected. When you go out hunting, one of the things you're going to have to do is you're going to drag your, uh, your trophy back. Well, here is drag straps from a hunting made easy. So... Yeah, it uh, has three scent wicks, a combo pack, a 48-inch cord with adjustable cord lock, highly reflective band, has a snap for easily felt replacement, uh, seal-tight storage bag included. Uh, something I didn't even realize. So yeah, a bag in there that you can seal it in there. Yeah. Little drag rope to help you drag that out to the woods, or more likely to your ATV or truck or whatever, bidding down the woods. Now, once you uh, get back home, well, if you got yourself a big old trophy, you need to mount that big old trophy. And well, to be able to mount it, you need a mount. So here's uh, a skull hooker. So uh, <laughs> this makes me think, you know, skull F and then hooker. I don't know. It, it just funny to me. Uh, anyway, it's a three-piece design and it includes your hardware to be able to install it and that's where you can actually mount your awesome new trophy. We have this, which is where you can actually mount your trophy on the wall. But on top of that, I'm not going to leave you hanging. I've got the skull cap too. So yeah, you can put this right on the deer skull cap uh, just like so. Yeah. So Let's say you don't want to use this. You want to use, uh, you know, you don't want the bone, you just want the antlers. Well, you can take that out and here you, and use that instead. Uh, you can tell I, I'm not mount, I've not mounted because it took me, in that video I mistakenly was saying that this goes behind the skull. Uh, I see now it's just uh, if you don't want, it, if this skull cap is damaged, I guess, or you don't like that skull cap, this is a replaceable skull cap. Like if you just find antlers. I, I guess that'd be good if you're uh, hiking or whatever, and you find uh, you know a pair of antlers that are huge, and you want to mount them uh, that you know will shed it off that year or you know something like that. But yeah, different way to mount them. I'm a gun guy, and a lot of people say you, know, you shouldn't hunt with a 22. Well, people hunt with uh, 556 all the time, and it's a 22 caliber rifle. Uh, there's a lot of different 22 caliber uh firearms that people hunt with it's not a 22 long rifle you know it's usually what people mean when they say don't hunt with 22 uh but yeah if you decide to hunt with an ar well here's you some bore brushes for your ar from falco tactical there are four of them in here get them lined up there we go so four heavy duty bore brushes from yeah Fal falco tactical keep your uh, rifle running smooth next yeah we're still not done yet we've got the all popular and all common uh I keep getting this in my freebie and tack pack so uh, y'all have to keep getting them too the nsk nuck <laughs> i know i'm tired of them too guys uh but you know i i get the freebies so i have more stuff to give away so yeah. uh, the cool thing if you haven't won one of these uh the chances of you winning going getting one of these is high. Come on, these are $45. Uh, 
So even though you may not like them, just resell them. I mean, even if you sell them for 20 bucks, uh, heck, you, uh, if you win this, you can just sell it and you know, that would pay your, pay for that month's, uh, subscription for premium membership. So, you know, if you want one of these previously, put this on eBay for 20 bucks 20, or $25. Now pay for, uh, this month or previous month's, uh, Brandon's Ballistics, uh, you know, premium channel memberships where you're automatically entered into this giveaway and the premium giveaway. Cause yes, you want to check out that premium item. It's awesome. But yeah. NSK bottle opener it's called the Nook. Don't know. have no idea why it'd be called the Nook. Uh, you know, uh, the slightest clue, but th these are lethal weapons. Uh, if I'm going to pull a lethal weapon, it's not going to be a Nook. It's, it's going to be a knife or a gun. Uh, most likely a gun. It depends on, you know, if the, if the attacker's unarmed, probably a knife to be able to hopefully, you know, and get them to think twice. But then, you know, it may end up going to a gun. <laughs> but hopefully, you're able to use, uh, you don't let your ego get in the way. And you're able to actually use conflict res resolution to be able to prevent you from having to go to court to be able to explain why you had to use this or another item. Which, if you do, I, I actually have a... A lawyer, a lawyer on retainer, because I'm part of the lawyer on retainer program. Uh, instead of USCCA, concealed carry insurance, I don't really trust my, you know, my life to that, my freedom to that insurance, because insurance companies always look for reasons to not cover you. Well, instead, I switched over to uh, attorneys on retainer. Uh, attorneys on retainer, attorneys for freedom. Uh, you know, that the, attorneys for freedom are part of attorneys on uh, on retainer. So basically, it's instead of insurance-based concealed carry stuff to where uh, self or self-defense insurance. It's not insurance. So if you get into a situation, you have to use self-defense. A lot of times, the hardest part of the fight is the fight in court uh, to be able to help prove that you did everything correct uh, and that you was justified. Well, a lot of times that's expensive. Uh, it's time-consuming and all that, and there's bail, all the other bad stuff. Well. It's good to be able to have, you know, an attorney or retainer to be able to help you get you out of bail and get you out of jail that day, hopefully, or you know, as soon as bail is available. And you don't have to worry about posting bail or paying for the bail. That's already, you know, it's paid for all the way up to a large amount. Uh, yeah, it's it, it's a good idea. Check out attorneys. Uh, I'm not sponsored, but yeah, check them out. I think that's a really, really smart idea to have. Uh, I want to call it self-defense insurance, but it's not insurance. It's just a... Uh, you know, attorney or retainer. And it doesn't have to be self-defense, by the way. Uh, if you get in any other kind of situation that you need a lawyer, you get 35% off of their uh, fee. So that's nice, too. Now, I'm not going to leave you just there. Technically, you know, that's like uh, right at $100, I believe. Uh, so we're over the $80 mark. But um, a lot of people don't prep. Uh, a lot of people don't have uh, a lot of gear. And as I was saying, when I got this kit uh and tactical box which once again that was a horrible box uh all this together is like 20 some dollars <laughs> but uh and that all the items in there was only worth 70 something it tells you something but this is a great starter kit if you don't have any kind of uh gear already then this actually is a nice little way to start so you have an Nice little case. Well, nice. Uh, it's not going to stand up the whole lot, especially if it's empty and you step on it, you're going to bust it, you know, easily. But, you know, you have a emergency blanket, survival paracord with compass, whistle, uh, fair rod, and striker, a flashlight. Uh, can't remember if this zooms in or out. No. So, uh, you do have to get batteries for it. Don't forget to put batteries in this if you win. Uh, this is to be able to hold, you know, bot, you know, to be able to like put in your pants or a piece of gear, put a bottle in this, uh, to this and screw it on. That way you ain't got to hold your bottle, you know, it's kind of carried with your pack. Uh, we got a fair rod striker, and honestly, this is a decent fair rod striker. Really easy to grab a hold of, decent, you know, decent thickness, and, uh, you know, the striker's, yeah, it's subpar, but you, you're probably going to use your knife, uh, the spine of your knife anyway. You got a whistle, these whistles are actually pretty loud. Whistles are very important. You got a lockable carabiner, not climbing rated. A wire saw that's going to break on you. <laughs> I need to actually use this personally and see if it's as bad as what I, what I say. 
Uh, now these little flashlights are awesome. Uh, you could put, uh, I, I like put it on keychains. You can put this on your, uh, like on your key ring, you know, your actual keys, your house keys, your car keys, or whatever. Where you always have a flashlight near to help you get into the ignition, uh, help you, you know, see things in the vehicle, or help you get your key into the door lock, etc. Uh, you got the the knife. It's assisted open. It's just a uh, you know basic knife, half serrated, half drop point, which I'm not a big fan of. But you know, it is what it is. If you don't have a knife, then it is way better than nothing. You have one of these uh, multi cards, right? Bottle opener because everything has like a bottle opener. A little bit of cordage uh, and hex wrenches, serrator blade, straight blade, nail puller, flat edge screwdriver. Uh, so I'll see top. I'm sure there's probably a few other things. And then we got a compass that's actually not a bad little compass. Uh, you open it up, you do have a movable bezel. So you can actually plot your azimuth pretty easily doing this. I'm not very good of a compass, but I'm trying to learn. So you got all that in this box here. So yeah, all of these items, minus Bella. She's technically on screen. Uh, Bella's mine. You can't have her. She's mine. But all these items are in the regular giveaway. So, yeah, if you enter, that's what you're entering to win. Uh, once again, it's totally free. It, uh, I cover shipping uh, anywhere that USPS will ship to. The only thing that I cannot cover is stuff like customs. So, if you win and you're from, uh, you know, out of country, the reason I can't cover customs is because I don't know what the custom charge is. Uh, it's going to do change based on customs so I, I don't i don't know how any of that works so that's uh, that's on you <laughs> i'll cover shipping you gotta cover customs if you're in the uh, u.s you ain't gotta worry about customs uh, unless you're part of the you know the, the states aren't continental i don't know if you gotta do, do customs then or not regardless uh that's everything for this month's regular giveaway Keep mind, we're not done yet that's everything for the regular giveaway. Uh, pretty big bulk of items, if I do this on myself. So, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> this is quite a, uh, difference. So that's the free giveaway. Has all those items. The members only giveaway only has one item. <laughs> but this is worth more than all those combined. <laughs> it's crazy, right? It's crazy how items work. Uh, so all together, I think that was like $120 in value. Uh, this is a, Fox knives. Uh, I cannot remember on the top of my head what the name of this knife is, but you see it on screen. Uh, it's like $190 some dollars, something like that. Uh, now, I could not find this exact, the, the, the walnut handle. So, it may not be, I, I don't know if that handle is, I don't know if it's more expensive with that with the handle that you see on screen I, that i don't know I, so maybe it's plus or minus a couple dollars you know ten twenty dollars I, I i don't know if it's more expensive less expensive uh i couldn't find this exact uh handle so but i i found that the, the knife is not the handle so keep that in mind uh it could be more expensive it could be less expensive i don't know uh a lot of times the handle is really doesn't change the value too much Usually, if, if you get wood, it's increased in value. So, if anything, you'd think it'd be more. But, yeah, that's what I found her online for. Uh, so, I need to clean her up slightly. I've been doing a little bit of testing with her. Because, you know, if, if I'm not going to have it, I, you know, I had to play with it a little bit. But, yeah, uh, I know a lot of people that follow my channel loves knives. Well, now you have an opportunity to get yourself a really nice, expensive one. And that's the only item, oh, just how my set is closing. Just uh, get it past the detent. Ah, quality. So, yeah, if you want to get yourself a really nice uh, knife, it's, then, yeah, it'd be a good time to be able to join uh, the uh, you know, membership. So, uh, that's $25 a month. Uh, you can... You can enter all the way up to uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. When it, I, I say Eastern Standard Time, whatever it actually is. Uh, when the live stream starts at that point, you can't become a member anymore for that month. You can become a member on the following month, but not that month. So if you want a chance to win this expensive knife, become a member. Uh, you're supporting the channel, and that's just my way of saying thank you. Uh, and then my way of saying thank you to everybody who's just watching, subscribing, commenting. Uh, hopefully, you know, telling your friends and family and all that stuff about the channel and bringing more people in, the monthly giveaway is my way of saying thank you. 
So thanks thank you thank yeah. So thank you to everybody yet again uh for watching my content. Uh you're making Bell Bell really happy. Uh my uh, 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 one of my goals is if uh, if I ever actually start making a decent bit of money from YouTube, I'll be able to uh, transform my house to a cat house, you know, like put, uh, I mean, <laughs> my house is a cat house. I have seven cats, uh, but it's all of them rescues and not all of them at once. It's been through years that I've ended up, uh, getting them on. I found way more of them homes, but I get, me and my wife get attached to, to, to anytime some, that they have health problems, we usually keep them because we don't trust people to actually take care of them correctly, uh, because they get expensive uh, when they have health problems. So that's the ones we keep. I, I don't know. Uh, regardless, she's my baby. Sadly, she's having health problems now. Where she's 17, she's diabetic. She sadly has a tumor. Uh, we just found. Uh, she has a growth on her chin, but we're, that's just a cyst. We're thinking um, we they stop worrying about that right now because now she has a tumor in her ear. Uh, so we made an appointment with a specialist because uh, they have to go deep in her ear with a little tiny machine to be able to cut it out to do a biopsy. See if it's something we gotta worry about or not. I pray that it's not, cause that, she's been through hell uh, between di diabetes and uh, her you know, being in kidney failure, uh, which now her uh, surprise, uh, cool thing, uh, kidney failure. You can come out of kidney failure as long as the kidney failure isn't caused by your actual kidneys. If it's caused by something else like diabetes, dehydration, whatever, then your kidneys just can start working again. She has kidney damage. She's no longer in kidney failure. She has kidney damage from when she was in kidney failure. Uh, which means she's at an, an increased risk of kidney failure in the future. So we give her fluids, uh, you know, a lot. <laughs> at least once a day, uh, once every other day, I'd say. We're doing it a little more since she's a little more dehydrated now. Cats don't like to drink a lot. Uh, she's being picky with eating, a little turd. She, she, now, she's hungry. She, she will scarf down treats and rather cat food, but her di her special diabetic food is so freaking expensive, she don't want to eat now, uh, which raises her blood sugar uh, out of hell, so I can't let her eat the regular food, uh, which it's you're, you're at a catch-22 because you, uh, if she's on an empty stomach, the regular ins insulin amount we give her would kill her because uh, it would drop her too much on an empty stomach, so she has to eat something. So, we, you know, it's, it's a catch-22. It really is. Uh, so we've been having to give in to her uh, demands of different food here lately. We're hoping that once she starts feeling better, it may change. But I guess that all depends on what we find out from the vet specialist when they biopsy that tumor. Um, we're hoping it's benign. Uh, I'm not a religious person, but uh, I, you know, I really, really hope, 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 hope that that's benign. Uh, that's not a problem. The vet doesn't have anything to go on uh, to be able to say if it, if it is or isn't, you know, the likelihood or whatever. Uh, he did say that it's it looked it's good news because it didn't look like it grew. If anything, he said it may have shrunk, uh, so that's good. But it doesn't have a post like most benign ones do. But what doesn't automatically mean that it's not benign. It just increases the likelihood that it's not. But. If it was not benign, then he it, he would have thought it would have grew some by now because it, it it was like three weeks uh, a week or two but it was two week no it's just a week between uh, when we got it no it was two weeks because uh, we, we was hoping it was swelling uh, so she was on antibiotics and prednisone to be able to make sure her, she had ear mites uh, so we was hoping that maybe that was the issue but sadly uh, it's still there anyway I'll keep y'all updated on that. Uh, now, I guess I gave y'all a little, you know, since he jumped up here, gave y'all a little update on Belleville. Uh, but yeah, uh, tell me, what do you think of this month's giveaway? Uh, regular subscribers uh, that are not members, what do you think of all the items? Are you, are you pretty content with uh, getting, you know, $120 worth of value if you're just watching the channel? <laughs> or not, I mean, one person will when they enter, if they enter. Uh, and then members of the channel, how do you like getting spooled a little bit? Yeah, I know it's it's above the I say 120 to 150. That's way above that, but I tend to always go above anyway. Uh, technically, uh, that's 80 to 120. That's on uh, right on the upper end of what that's supposed to be. I normally go way above on it as well, but I, you know I kind of can't take half the knife away to be able to make it closer to 150 count. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I already gave you the code word. Uh, you know, 
post uh, post in the comments for Bill Bell to you know feel better and hopefully that you know uh, make sure to share the comp share this video around if you love Bell Bell and you want her to get better. Yeah, I, I'm going to shame you into doing it. Do it for Bell Bell, not for me. Do it for Bell Bell because <laughs> she wants to be here and be on camera for a long time. Ain't that right, honey? You gonna be on camera for a long time? You're going up here. Yeah. Right, let's hope she is here to be on camera for a very long time. But that's all I got for you. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see y'all next time. Peace.